is a review for the Black & Decker washer that's 1.6 cubic feet. Um, I've had this washer for about like four months or so. Or yeah, almost four months and I love it. I use it at least once a week um, and it's wonderful. It's definitely helped with my small apartment. So right now I am doing a quick load. I have like knits in there. Um, but regardless, I set it to, um, a large load, cold, and a normal quick one. And that's normally 15 minutes. If you decide on doing heavy or bulky or delicate, um, it changes the time. I, the first wash I did, I did in heavy and bulky, and it took like an hour. And it did like three rinses and spins, and it just took too long, um, and you kind of have to monitor it because you are putting your faucet, you're turning on your faucet on. So when it's done collecting the water, like, you know, there's still water coming and then everything just kind of overfills here. And at times I've had it like spill out of here because it's not fully connected well. So anyway, um, the washer does come with like the hoses and the adapter. So this thing right here is the adapter that it came with and it fit perfectly with my faucet. It may be the case that it won't fit perfectly with your faucet so you may have to get an adapter uh, which you can find for a relatively cheap price on Amazon or go to Home Depot. Um, and then it also came with like some other plastic hose. Um, I bought this hose at Home Depot because some of the reviews that I read were that the ones that they come with they, with time, eventually break. So I just wanted something right off the like get-go that would last me a while. So I got this metal one and it's been working pretty fine. I would probably go back and get a shorter one because this one's like really, really long and I don't need it to be that long. Um, but it works. So yeah, it takes about two minutes to fill up and then it does the spin, you know, the wash and it like rinses out and spins out uh, twice for these 15 minutes. Um, it's relatively quiet um, if you're like in any other room. And then the spin is also, so here it goes, so I'm gonna turn off. So this is like what it comes with, this little thing, and then the host just attaches it to that. And this is the adapter for the your faucet. Um, so yeah, I usually literally only wash in one setting, which is the large and the quick one, because it just you know does the job very well. It rings out the clothes really well, and it you know it's done. Um, I haven't really played around with any other kind of settings, like. Technically speaking, you can set it to any other temperature, but uh, and only have one uh, hose connected. Um, but I feel like if you set it to hot or warm, the other connection, the other opening might open, and you know there's nothing there. So um, I would just keep it at cold, or and then kind of pass by like some warm water through the hose. I don't know. Um, but this is like the noise level it goes to when washing it and it's kind of quiet. Um, I bought a little dolly for it to push it around so it just goes around the kitchen faster. I keep it in my kitchen because that's like where I have the most space so um, it's good for now. Um, I got it from Home Depot as well and it came a little dented on the sides but I'm not necessarily bothered by it because the washer does work, so, you know, it's, it does its job. Um, so, yeah, and I also got it from Home Depot because the reviews that I saw on Amazon, it seemed like there was more trouble with the delivery, uh, and from the Home Depot app, I was able to order it and just have it shipped to the store and I pick it up myself. So there, I wouldn't, you know, be bothered with the, the tech.
time of the arrival and you know just having this outside sitting outside and blah 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 so um that was just what worked best for me and then if I had any other troubles with it I could just return it to Home Depot and then wouldn't be such a hassle you know going through Amazon um so yeah this is what it does and then like the house is right here and like it will the water will come out eventually um other people have it in the restrooms and it's just faster and it goes on their tub and some people suggested putting like some kind of penny hose over here so the lint won't get you know wouldn't pass through and it wouldn't get uh clogged in your sink but i haven't had any trouble with that yet so i haven't resulted to doing that um so yeah i'll come back and show you what it's like when it's rinsing out okay so it's like at the 10 minute mark and it, it's already like rinsing out the water um the water it comes out like it's a lot at a fast rate so that's why my kitchen sink works with this like you know you see a little whirly there um the water just goes down faster so you know again personal choice whether you want to have this um dispose the water um but the water obviously goes down from there and then it does the little spin cycle which is relatively quiet and it doesn't like shake out with the dolly like it literally secures it i don't even have to put the stoppers on because it goes nowhere it just vibrates so i'll show you that when that happens okay so right now it's doing the spin cycle um like I'm right next to it and you know when you're next to it it's kind of loud it's not even that loud but if I go to like any other room you can kind of barely hear it um so it's actually pretty the noise level is pretty decent and so the water still comes out um so yeah, uh, and then I'll just talk a bit about why I chose this one because there are definitely other brands out there that are equally as good. Um, but I actually did a lot of research on what washer, what brand I wanted to get for the washer. And I watched, uh, I believe her name is Julia Caban's uh, YouTube video on this particular brand, not this exact same washer because there's a smaller sized one uh, and that's the one she got but I wanted something bigger because I wanted to do lesser loads and kind of fill it up more you know um, so yeah it just turned out that this was like I guess a very reliable brand um, and then there's uh, other brands out there um, that were I guess better looking and therefore um, I don't know, uh, highly rated, um, but it's a hit or miss, you know, um, with the brands, so it might work for some and might not work for others, so I decided just to go with the Black & Decker, and I have had no issues whatsoever, um, and it's wonderful, especially during the COVID times, like, you don't have to go to laundromat, the only thing I kind of have to do because I haven't really I've thought about what buying a dryer but I have no space for a dryer so I just kind of air dry my clothes and that's just what works for me so right now that spin cycle is over and then I have to put back the hose so this is what happens if it's not adjusted well and this is what eventually will happen if the faucet's still going and the the water stops going through um so you kind of have to monitor it a lot so if you have like washer and dryer connections then you should be completely fine um but if you don't like me then you kind of have to stay on top of this um so it'll refill again and then we'll come back for the second so uh, rinsing again and at this point I can just disconnect the hose and then um, leave it because it will just 
dump out the water and then do the spin cycle, the dry, the spin dry cycle, and then it'll be done. It'll beep when it's done, and it has four minutes left. Um, another thing I was gonna say that when I started using this washer, I would um, disconnect the hose every time to like clear out the water and you know for cleanliness purposes. And then every time I finish using it, I also have to drain out this hose because there's still a lot of water here because of the height. So the water just kind of gets trapped um, after, you know, the water comes out. Um, so I still have to like, you know, take off the water from here because I don't want any kind of like mold growing in for the moisture. Um, so I would like take off this hose, but then I realized because this hose is made out of metal and um, these little hookup things are just plastic, it started kind of wearing down because I just kept, you know, hooking it and unhooking it and it started wearing down on these little things right here and I just decided to keep it in and so what I do is I finish and then I just like kind of fold it, you know, kind of roll it in and like leave it in a bucket in case there's still water in there. And um, yeah, and then this thing has a little hook that just kind of hangs right here. So it just, you know, works perfect, I guess. Uh, but th that's pretty much like my only routine with this and I really have no complaints about this um, I guess it would just be easier for me to have washer and dryer like the washer hookups because then I wouldn't have to be monitoring it like when the water uh, is supposed to go in but this is more than I could ask for you know being in the small apartment and I hated going to laundromats and this will wash your clothes 10 times better than when you get at the laundromat I assure you I see the difference um, and I use like regular like Costco brand like softener and like uh, detergent and it just works well and I just started using uh, the downy scented boosters or whatever scent boosters and this has made a big difference too um, I guess I'll show you more when it's done because this little thing right here, you pull out and that's where you're supposed to, you're supposed to put the detergent and the softener. So I'll show you in a bit when it's done. Okay, so it's about finishing and yeah. So I guess one of the things that I enjoy about this is that as soon as it finishes, it turns off. Like I have to turn it back on and I just, you know, um, but I actually like that. It might be annoying to some, but I actually like that. Um, so what I was gonna show you guys was that this little soap compartment right here. So this is for the detergent and this is for the softener. So I guess like this kind of like tells you where is the limit for the softener. And then this, I was using, <laughs> I was using it uh, at the beginning, but then I stopped because, you know, you can see right there that, you know, where it comes out and then when the water's coming through, it kind of, you know, grabs the soap and like, you know, it makes it soapy and whatever. But then I realized that I have to, you know, close the lid before I can turn on the water. Um, so the soap would just, regardless, come down on the clothes anyway. So I stopped putting the detergent here and I just pour the, the detergent everywhere on my clothes because it, that's what, what it's going to do anyway. But the softener, I still do and put it here. And it does, this thing comes off, you know, it's not a big deal. Like, you can put it back on. Kind of struggle sometimes. No, it's good. Um, and then there's this little latch thing right here. Uh, let me take off my clothes first. I wanted to show you guys, gosh, such poor lighting. Um, the my knits that I just washed, um, nothing is dripping. This, I, what I really like about this machine is that it really spins out and wrings out the clothes. Um, that is so easy to just air dry them. Um, and this is why I don't feel the need to buy a dryer because I just hang them everywhere in my doorways and like, it's not, I don't mind this look, you know, and it's so just, 
you know, easy to air dry and I don't have to spend more money on a dryer. Um, so this just works for me. Some of you may not, you know, may not be okay with this hanging clothes shit, but it's fine for me, so I don't care. Um, but what I wanted to show you was the inside of the machine. So it's kind of like an arm's length in, and I have, you know, kind of a, I'm a short person, I have a small arm. God, this is kind of always a bitch to take off. Give me a sec. Okay. I've literally broken a nail trying to open this before. So it's kind of hard, and it's kind of hard for everything. Fucking damn it. Okay. So this thing um, catches all the lint. And from those nits, and I've had, that was like my third load today. And that's all the lint that it caught. Um, but I had washed like jeans and other stuff that are not necessarily, it does catch a lot of lint, but I usually collect it when I'm done washing. Um, because, you know, it's such a bitch to take off and whatever. Um, but yeah, so I, Feel like that's about it um there is some kind of plastic that comes with this when it's brand new and i took it off and i kind of regret it because it's kind of getting scratched mostly because my cat just jumps on it so yeah so this is the black and tiger if you guys have any questions i would probably answer them in the comments below i don't say if anyone's gonna watch this um but if you have any questions about this yeah comment below and i'll answer them thanks for watching